Hi, I'm Debbie Hartner. I'm Elsie Johnson. We are two sisters, Southern Cooking. So we are now doing the sweet potatoes. So I'm going to go ahead. These are a little actually harder to right. penetrate the skin of than the, the regular baking potato. So I'm going to go ahead and put four in here. And this just helps to get the oil down in there and the salt in there. Plus it helps to keep it from exploding basically. And also I forgot to mention to you the potatoes that we had, the regular baked potatoes or Idaho potatoes from the produce stand that, uh, across the street that we have. And these are, these sweet potatoes are from there as well, and they're called Mississippi Reds. And they are the best sweet potato that you can buy. Um, that's all we carry is Mississippi Reds. They are so smooth in their taste. I did not realize that till I moved to Georgia. Um, I was used to wherever we had gotten our potatoes right. from. Right. And when I moved down here and Mom and Elsie introduced me to the Mississippi Reds, I was like, shocked <laughs> yeah they, they are so much fluffier they're they're not stringy they're they're just just smooth so we're almost done with this part um and i'm going to elsie's going to go ahead and start putting the oil and then we'll start rubbing it in and then put the salt in we're actually going to bake all the potatoes together on the same sheet pan sheet pan so we can bake it together so it might take a little longer than the allotted time these are going to take about 45 minutes but so we might you want to just pour me a little okay um yeah we, we'll probably end up having to take the sweet potatoes off the pan first because they will be on the same pan um uh, but we'll just we'll just test them for doneness and and then remove them when they are done because they will get done i believe faster than a regular Idaho it's, potato also it's not a good idea to put tin foil around your potato because your potatoes actually do not get done correctly if they're wrapped in tin foil. Which is odd because most steakhouse restaurants do that. We've done that all our lives. Mm -hmm. Started doing some research on this because this is our lives, you know, and um, started looking into it and sure enough, you don't put, not recommended. You can do it if you want to, but I'm just saying, they say it's not recommended to put the tin foil around it because it doesn't get completely Right, completely done. All right. And I think we are going to get these ready to get in the oven. 400, these are 45 minutes, but of course we're gonna probably leave them in there a lot longer because we got like 10 potatoes, I think it is, yeah. that we're gonna be putting in there. So we're going to need a little more time for cooking time. Right. And uh, the other potatoes are 55 minutes, this is 45, so. Another thing you're gonna notice about um, a sweet potato, is you don't even really, you can put a fork in to, to test them, but if you start seeing, and I don't know what else to call it, that's what everybody around here calls it, when they see black tar coming out of it, that is when they're done. You know they're done because they will leak from those little pierced holes that you have. They will leak out like a black tar and they're done. They're absolutely wonderful. Yeah, and these are really good potatoes. These sweet potatoes are. All right, guys, we will show you what they look like when they come out of the oven, and we will see you in our next video.
Hi, I'm Elsie. And I'm Debbie. We're Two Sisters Southern Cooking. And we thank you for visiting our page. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.